So we're on chapter 4, lesson 5, dividing fractions. And I thought we'd take a look here at um, multiplying fractions and compare. So we have 4 times 1 half and 4 divided by 1 half. And take a look and see what's happening. And down here I have 4 items or 4 boxes. So 4 times 3 would be what we're saying is 4, as you learn in 3rd grade, 2nd grade, 4 plus 4 plus 4, 3 fours, and that would be 12. 4 3 times. But we're saying 4 half the time. So we're saying half of 4 is 2. And the way to solve it mathematically is to say 4 1's, write the whole number as a fraction, times 1 half. And then multiplying fractions ain't no big problem. Ties the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. The trick is we can simplify before we multiply. Four ones, one half, but we can simplify. Further than that, we can simplify any numerator with any denominator. So four and two are both divisible by two. Two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. Two times one is two. One times one, multiply the numerators, then the denominators, two ones or two. And that's how I get it. Now the inverse operation of four times one half, that's equal to four divided by the inverse of one half is two, or two ones. So four divided by two is two. Four times one half is equal to four divided by two ones. And that's gonna help us when we divide. So let's take a look now at division, because we're gonna do that inverse operation in solving it out. 4 divided by half. So what we're saying is we have 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're dividing them into halves. And how many pieces do I have if I divide them into halves? Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 4 divided by half is 8. Let's take a look at it. Multiple, multiplication wise, what we're doing is saying 4 1's divided by 1 half, and that's the same as four ones. Now mathematically this is a bit of a challenge here, but what we can do is write it as a multiplication problem because we know multiplying fractions ain't no big problem times the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. So we're going to write the division problem as a multiplication problem. The inverse operation of four ones divided by one half is four ones times two ones, or two. And we get eight ones, or eight. So that in a nutshell. So four divided by one half, that's the same as four times two ones. Inverse operation, four times one half is the same as four divided by two ones. They're both two. Let's take a look now at a fraction. Div this is three fourths. Each green line is a fourth. So here's one fourth, two fourths, three-fourths, and this would be four-fourths. So I have three-fourths divided by one-eighth. And the, the red lines and green lines together represent eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's three-fourths divided into eight. Here's eighths. Here's the three-fourths divided into eight pieces. And how many pieces do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So three-fourths divided by one-eighth is six. Let's look at this mathematically. Three-fourths divided by one-eighth. Well, mathematically, it's a bit of a challenge, but we know that multiplying fractions ain't no big problem times the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. And the inverse of three-fourths divided by one-eighth is three-fourths times inverse eight ones, okay? And that top by the top, bottom by the bottom, we can simplify before we multiply any numerator with any denominator. Let's see, I don't have three fours, can't simplify three fours, can't simplify eight ones, but four and eight, they're both divisible by four. Four divided by four is one, eight divided by four is two. two three times two is six, one times one is one, or six. So that's how we solve it mathematically, the algorithm. We're just going to convert all our dividing of fraction problems into multiplying of fraction problems by writing the inverse operation. So let's do it. We have 4 divided by 1 half. We already did that one, so that's the, we're going to write the inverse operation. 
We have to write 4 as a fraction. That's 4 1's. 4 1's divided by 1 half is the same as 4 1's times 2 1's. Change the operation. Change, invert the fraction. And that's 8 1's, or simply 8. Now they get some tougher problems to deal with. We're going to rewrite this. 3 fourths divided into groups of 4 ninths. So mathematically, that's a bit of a challenge, but multiplying fractions is no big problem. 3 fourths times, change the division to multiplication, then invert the fraction. 9 fourths. So I get 27 sixteenths. And 27 divided by 16 is going to go 1 with 11 left over. Sixteenths. 1 and 11 sixteenths. Okay. Let's look at 15. Now this, we have some mixed numbers. We learned in multiplying fractions, we convert them to improper fractions. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. So 5 and 1 third is the same as 16 thirds. 1 and 4 fifths is the same as 9 fifths. Now, I'm taking 16 thirds and cutting them up into 9 fifths and see how many pieces I have. It's a little complicated, so I'm going to rewrite it, but multiplying fractions is no big problem. 16 thirds times 5 ninths. Now, I don't have any good, easily, easy simplifying methods here, so I'm just going to get my old friend the calculator. And I'm going to say 16 times 5. I get 80. And then I have 27. 9 times 3 is 27. 80 divided by 27 is going to be 2 with, some, with 54 left over. Oh, no. 2. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, 80, 27. It's going to it goes 54 times, and I, I have 2 times 27 is 54, and then the difference between 54 and 80 is going to give me 26, 27. Whoops, 27. Ooh, that's kind of a monster problem here. Let's take a look at another one. So Burger Barn has 46 and two-thirds pounds of ground beef. And they're going to divide. I actually heard someone in class say, why would we ever divide fractions? Well, here's when you do it. If you had 46 and two-thirds pounds of ground beef, you were a manager of a restaurant or owner, how many one-third one or third-pound burgers can be made using all the ground beef? So we're saying 46 and two-thirds divided by one third. So how many burgers can we make with all this meat? So we're going to write 46, 46 and two thirds as an improper fraction. It's 46 times 3. 138 plus 2 is 140. 140 thirds. And we're going to do the inverse operation. Instead of divided by one third, we're going to go times 3 ones. Okay, so let's see. Can we simplify before we multiply? Yes, this goes three, 3 and 3. So 140 times 1 is 140. Ones or 140. So if you had 46 and 2 thirds pounds beef, you can get 140 1 third pound burgers using that ground beef. So the secret word Oh, we'll, we'll take a look. Roberto needs some roofing tiles to be cut from a large tile. How many tiles that are 14 and 3 eighths inches in length can he cut from a larger piece that's 105 eighths? So 100, taking these 105 eighths inches piece of tiles and cutting them, dividing them into 14 and 3 eighths inches. So 100, 5 eighths. Uh, divided by 14 3 eighths. So we're going to write these as improper fractions. 100 times 8 is 800 plus 5 more is 805. 
eight hundred five eighths. Fourteen times eight. I'm going to cheat here. Fourteen times eight. One hundred twelve plus three more is fifteen. One hundred fifteen eighths divided. Okay, so we have to. That's the same as eight hundred five eighths. Excuse me. 805 eighths times 8 115ths. Okay, so can we simplify before multiply? Yes, 8 becomes 1, 8 and 8. So we have 805. Whoops, I'm writing sloppily. 805, let me just rewrite that, sorry about that. 805, 115 and we can simplify this. Let's simplify that. So all I need to do is say 805 divided by 115. Let's see if we get some monster number here. 805 divided by 115 equals 7. So that would be seven. So how many tiles that are 14? So you can get seven tiles out of this 105 eighths. This longer piece that's 105 eighths inches. There are seven groups of seven, 14 and three eighths tiles. So seven times 14 and three eighths is 105 eighths. Our answer is seven. And the secret word is turkey.